<laughs> I have another question. Yes, I, this is for Don Wells. I hear you're an entrepreneur and you've started some sort of business. Yes. And I, is it still ongoing? Yes. It's an audience plant, this is, Dawn. Well, I'll tell you, good for you. I follow well, them. I follow them. I, I've seen them. Yes, I am. Oh, bless But I can't heart. sing the words. My 14-year-old son can sing all the words to the song, but I can't. I don't know them can. either. I don't know them either. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead and answer Yeah, the I do question. have a clothing line called the Wishing Wealth Collections, and it's for people... Um, who have difficulty in dressing, people in nursing homes, adaptive clothing, people who are infirm or ill. And it's real interesting. It's a mail order, and I have an office at, in Burbank, and we do it mostly by catalog. But it's interesting to see the letters I receive. Oh, I knew Marianne would do something nice like this. I mean, it's interesting to see that there is a, there's a real fondness for the character. Oh, absolutely. I always think if I'd have been a bitch on a soap opera, nobody would have paid any attention to the book. <laughs> you don't know. Thanks for asking. Let me get to this commercial break, and we'll come back and continue in just a moment. If you knew the answer to that question, you had to be a real Gilligan's fan because you guys really didn't have first names. Marianne and Ginger did, and the Howes did, but you never had a first name. You never had a name. You That's were right. just a professor. That's right. Just a title. You know, we have something that I want to show everybody because can you imagine where the professor ended up spending the rest of his years? Take a look at where Russell Johnson lives. <laughs> look at this. Want to tell us what we're looking at there, Russell? That's Puget Sound. Yeah. The island of Bainbridge. He's on an island. <laughs> what a surprise. Didn't you get enough of that? <laughs> I'm delighted to be there. That's the 35-minute uh, ferry ride from Seattle in Puget Sound. It's gorgeous. Any cannibals, Russ? <laughs> <laughs> no. It looks beautiful. You have a question? Yes, I wanted to ask all three of you. You're all so talented, and I wondered if you had any plans in the future of doing any more acting, or are you involved in possibly a motion picture or another sitcom in town? No, I just, when Hollywood calls, I'll fly in and do what they have to do. Dawn and I did a Baywatch, you know, last year that was on, I guess, in February and March. They, they rescued us in one of the Channel Islands off California, off of L.A., and it was fun to do. But uh, whatever comes down the road, we do. I work in Seattle. I do voiceover work, the radio and television commercials, and uh, narration for industrial films and that kind of thing. And I just finished a uh, movie of the week uh, up there called With a Vengeance. It stars Melissa Gilbert and... Uh, Michael Gross, <coughs> that'll be on sometime next year. <laughs> I'm on way, my way from here to do uh, an infomercial, one of those half-hour commercials for Black & Decker with a vegetable steamer that I'm doing. I, I worked quite a bit last year. I've taken some time out with my business, but I did about uh, four plays last year in a film and, and a couple of television things, too. So we're all, we're all uh, working quite a bit, I think. Yeah, she's, she always does. She's doing a lot of theater. A lot of theater. That's my favorite. I, the stage is my favorite thing. So I just finished Steel Magnolias, which is... The role of a lifetime, kind of. You Which know. one did you play? Melin. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Great role. Yeah, this is with Don West. I, I'm just curious about the, um, you know, the dress, the original dress you wore on Val. Is that the original? Mm -hmm. I have two or three Baywatch made two or three uh, for me, for, for that episode. So I have actually four of them hanging in my closet. So anytime anybody wants to borrow one for a costume <laughs> party, I've got one. Halloween. Halloween. Is good. I was wondering if it struck any of the cast members odd while you were making the show that. That you took so much on a three-hour tour. <laughs> that always struck me. Well, we, we talked about that, you know, like, they're going to have a freighter sunk off the island so we dive down and get everything we needed. And we're all sitting around and decided, nah, let the people wonder, where are the Howells getting all those clothes? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Number one question, out. isn't it? Yeah. Number one question, yeah. where'd you get the clothes? Really? Or how old are you? I'd like to know if there <laughs> were ever any personality conflict, maybe a little jealousy between Ginger and Mary and offstage, or, or did anyone have an exceptionally Ooh, bad... Well, I was role? jealous of the professor. <laughs> That's funny, they always ask the women, yeah. right? They would never think like Alan Hale and Russell didn't get along. Boy, I was jealous of her, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he looked better in the shorts than I did. We had a real hard time with that. But no, there really wasn't much. Uh -uh, I don't think so. I think that... Uh, uh, Ginger came from a, a larger background than I did. She had done some Broadway shows and had, and had kind of a name for herself before she arrived on Gilligan Brown. It was my very first experience in doing a series, so you I was were really, a baby. You were I was just yeah, just a child. <laughs> and you still are <laughs> just a child. <laughs> just a child. <laughs> All right, we'll be back and continue in just a moment. 